Today, we're checking out budget 500 gigabyte retro emulation hard drives. There's three of these drives I'm gonna be reviewing. This is the first one, which comes with Play Night, all these PC games you're seeing here. And then this one has Retro Bat on it. So it has everything from Atari all the way up to the Nintendo Switch on this little 500 gigabyte hard drive. In this series of videos, I'll be reviewing all three hard drives. There's slight subtleties between them, especially between the front end, whether they're running Launch, LaunchBox or Retro Bat. But this one running, um, Retro Bat, as you see in the menu system there, is everything from Switch, PS2, PS1. And these 500 gigabyte hard drives are nothing new. They've been around a while. There's a Kin Hank drive that I think kind of started it all. And a lot of the ROM sets are almost identical, but as you get to some of the bigger systems like GameCube, Wii, Wii U, um, some of the PC games, you're gonna see a big variation between them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this one first. J Manchin, Manchin is the uh, company. They have those one terabyte drives as well, the 12 terabyte drives, the three, the fives, and then the 500 gigabyte drives is what we're gonna be checking out in this video. They also make the USB flash drives, little thumb drives, and they also make micro SD cards for your um, Steam Deck. And so what do we have today? We have the big 500, I call it the big because the enclosure is really big. They're gonna be doing this this 500 gigabyte LED, which has three front ends. You're gonna have LaunchBox, Retro Bat, and Play Night. So you're gonna have PC games, and then like you've seen hard drives like this before, but we'll review it. Then there's this one, which is just Retro Bat, Bat Ocera, no LaunchBox, and then it has Play Night as well. Then we have one that's literally just LaunchBox. And even though it's just LaunchBox, you still do get PC games with it. They're calling it PS4, but you'll see it actually comes with PC games. So all these are around the high 20s. You can get them with controllers or without, black or white controllers. It's up to you, different controllers. So here are the two smaller 500 gigabyte drives. You got the black one and the blue and the white one. Uh, in this video, we will be doing the white one, which is only Battlesera no launch box and the black one has launch box on it and then the big one in the big box to my left that has you can see the electrical socket on the top that one has all three systems as retro bat and launch box and play night some pc games as well so these are all 500 gigabyte they're all about the same price seagates but they're different models one is the laptop thin and one is the momentous thin but both slow drives but you you know they're probably refurbished, but for this price, that's what you expect. The PR500, <clears throat> this one comes with Play Night and Retro Bat. It doesn't look like you need to, and you don't need to change the drive letter. Play Night's gonna have your PC games on it, so let's go ahead and try that. Let's do the desktop app, so we can kind of see everything. Actually, the full screen app looks even better, but we'll start with this. We'll see what exactly PC games you have on here. And uh, let's see if we can go to a different view. Yeah, that's a good view here. You got Cuphead, Dead Cells, you got some Final Fantasies, you got Double Dragon, Neon Abyss, more indie games, Subnautica you have, Rimworld, P4G, the Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge, although it's often on a lot of these drives. So nothing crazy, none of these are like big, you know, massive games but a lot of little indie games okay has the play night and then here you are in retro bat you have an art flick skin on here and you are rocking a total of thirty-eight thousand games everything from ps3 down to atari it even has an arcade set on here a thomas wave and everything in between up to nintendo switch even so pretty cool so let's go ahead and go through here really quick. Um, the video, you should have a game list in the description. So if you just want to see what games exactly are on here, you can go see. But you'll notice a lot of these systems, the entire set is on them. Let's go backwards order here. PS3 games. I wish they didn't include The Wolf Among Us. It doesn't emulate that well, but it does have Catherine and God of War collection. You can add some more yourself or, what, or delete some. You know, that is available to you. PSP, these are actual PSP games like Worms and Ape Escape. They're not PSP minis. So that's pretty cool to see at a um, total of 91 games. PS2, 41 games. I wish they wouldn't do the um, like rhythm games like Guitar Hero, but there's three of those games, a Karaoke Hero. This is very similar PS2 set I see on all these Chinese drives. A lot of them are the same PS2 games. PS1, only 43. 
Again, very similar games, but not a bad selection of games as well. You'll be able to see that in the game list. Now, when it comes to Geo Geo Pocket Color, Pocket, and regular Neo Geo, you're going to get every single game. The Arrow Fighters, the, the King of Fighters, the Metal Slugs, it's all going to be there. Naomi and Dreamcast, 54 on Naomi, 34 on Dreamcast. Now, you'll notice with like Dreamcast, they have um, Marvel's Capcom 2. They also have uh, Power Stone 1 and 2. And when you go to Naomi, you see those same three games. So there are a couple duplicates that are in both. But in total, you get about 80 of these games or so. Moving up to Sega Saturn, 27 games. So a small mix of Sega Saturn. Remember, this is only 500 gigabytes. That's a small hard drive um, to th pack all these games on it. Basically, all the 32X, all the Game Gear, all the Genesis, plus some Japanese and some hacks and things. SG-1000, 98. A Thomas Wave, 23. These run really well. You do have a Dolphin Blue, which I like. Some cool light gun games and some good fighters in there. Nintendo Switch, you actually have uh, not too many. What did I see? Seven. So, uh, Crash Bandicoot, uh, Insane Trilogy, uh, the Team Racing, Gungeon, Flashback and uh salt and sanctuary mario odyssey and Link's awakening and then back to this i did have to change my controls in the switch emulator just hit select on your keyboard and change the controller to whatever you're using but not a big deal msu1 advanced audio on the snes or the snes it is um yeah it's good that's a nice little collection there uh wii u only two games mario kart and zelda Again, it's a small hard drive. I'm not mad at that. We only one game, Donkey Kong Country. Nintendo DS. I like the mix of DS in here. You got the Animal Crossing, the Pokemons, the um, you know, the uh, Final Fantasies, and then you have the Mario on here as well. So not too bad. Uh, and the Zeldas. So not too bad of a collection. Game Boy Advance. You have everything and plus more. 2,700 games. Literally every game ever made. All the different regions. Nintendo GameCube, you do only have 26 games. The games are pretty good, though. And, um, you know, you can only fit so many of these games on a small hard drive like this. Game Boy Color and uh, Nintendo 64, all the games, all the games, all the games on Super Game Boy, SNES, all the games, Game Boy, every single game, Nintendo, every single game, and more. Game & Watch, all the games you normally find. Turbo Graphics. 289, Coley Co, all of them, Wonder Swan and Wonder Swan Color, all of them, Sufami Turbo, all of them at 2,500, Jaguar, you do only have 64, but um, nice little collection there, and then all the Atari games you can imagine, and then MAME games, this is what a lot of people like this, just a nice little MAME set, everything from 1945 to Mortal Kombat to, um, you'll see me play Battletoads, um, X-Men, you know, the Simpsons arcade game, Marvel Madness, Matt, Bad Dudes, Batman, you name it. It's uh, a decent arcade set on here. It's a little weird looking, but, um, you know, not too bad. I like looking at the picture on the left here and seeing what games are being shown. Um, and then Final Burn Neo. These are the Capcom Play System games of Avengers. And a few others. Centipede will be on there. Commando. Contra arcade game. And interesting, this one has video snaps on it. So if you notice, this is the only system where they play videos. Not the only, but there's some videos have videos, some don't. And then Amstrad. Uh, Retrobat inside here is going to be all your emulators. You can load up the emulators here manually through the system menu, or you can do it from your... Um, from your hard drive. You can always hit start on your controller anytime, updates, change your sound, change your controls. It's really easy to do. And uh, what's really cool here is like if there's a game that's not running, you hit select on your controller, go ahead and go to advanced system options and you can change like the shaders, the way it looks, but you can also change the emulation. Um, uh, where does it say? There should be a way to, there you go, emulator. You can change the different emulators uh, depending on which one will run the game best. Um, and then shaders, aspect ratio. So a lot of customization that's really easy at your fingertips. And, um, you know, maybe just take a photo of it before you start messing with it. So you can see what the default settings were in case you mess something up. But, uh, yeah, so it's all, it's either in Play Night or Retro Bat here. And, uh, you know, nice little Retro Bat build. Uh, let's go user interface here. Theme. Okay, there's some other themes on here. Like Reload is kind of cool. If you give the second thing a second to load. You can run it like this as well. And, uh, oh, there are video snaps for quite a few games. I actually like the way this looks a lot better. 
than the other one myself. The thing that was bugging me was the MAME, the MAME games, the way they looked. Let me see what they look like here. Yeah, I think this is better. For sure. You can hit the triggers to jump down. You hit select on your controller and select random game. Um, if you want to play some Mahjong, we got you covered. Anyways, um, not a bad set. Not a bad hard drive for, for under 30 bucks. Pretty sweet. So I can't play every single game on this hard drive, but um, what I played, they work just fine. I did need to change my Nintendo Switch controls to play Nintendo Switch. Just hit escape on your keyboard and go to configure controls and just change it to the Xbox 360 controller. Um, this one, other than that, was pretty plug and play. You didn't have to change the hard drive letter. Um, the, I think the number one question I'm going to get from this series is what's the best one out of these three? And honestly, they're very identical. They're 90% identical. The biggest change is going to be the front end that is included on them. Although there is, especially in the PC games and on the higher end games like Switch, Wii U, and Wii, and PS3 and PS2, there is going to be slight subtleties there. And so for some people, they might want one hard drive over the other. Um, you can also compare this to the Kin Hank drive that's out there. You know, these are all just refurbished hard drives with a ROM set on top of them. Now, <clears throat> this one I do like that it has the arcade set on it, where if you look at the launch box only build, it doesn't really have any main game or main selection. So that one was kind of a disappointment there, but it does have more Windows games. So you just want to make sure you see which one you're getting into. As far as an overall better retro gaming hard drive, I definitely think either the retro bat only drive or the retro, the three in one drive, the biggest one. Um, that gives you Retrobat and LaunchBox. Um, emulation is good here. I'm on a pretty high performing laptop, but anything if you get like an i5 or better with like a GTX 1050 or better graphics card, you'll be able to run the higher end Switch games and things on a lower frame rate or a lower uh, quality. Um, you know, as long as you're not running high HD, you should be just fine. Um, and then you can throw this on laptop, mini computer. A lot of people say, do I need a computer or TV for this? You do need a computer. You can then hook it up to your TV and it'll run that way. Um, another big thing I get every time is, you know, are these things safe? They're filled with spyware. If that's a concern of yours, you know, you can, you can you know, either pass on the opportunity to get it or go ahead and uh, hook it up to a computer without any kind of internet connection whatsoever. But as you see, I just played some Nintendo Switch, I played uh, PlayStation 2, I played some GameCube, I played the computer, the PC games, everything's running perfectly, no issues. Like I said, just a few just little controller things to do. Other than that, it was running pretty great. A lot of people like to buy these hard drives and uh, copy them over to their own hard drive or copy and paste ROMs around. That's all available to you. If it is your first time installing, just make sure you install those prerequisites. Other than that, this is pretty typical for these Chinese hard drives. You get a lot of duplicate ROMs. You're getting a bunch of regional ROMs. There's some artwork missing. But overall, for the low, low, low price that they're offering... Oh, and by the way, yes, I agree. These aren't the best hard drives out there. Could they fail? Absolutely. You know, you kind of get what you pay for here. There's no free lunch. So, with all that said, I've never had a single one of these hard drives crash on me. And, um, you know... You, you, you know, the time it would take me to build more something like this, although it would be free and much better, which I do recommend, I would rather just save the time. You know, I could see applications for just saving the time or having it pre-set up or as a gift or something. But um, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.